what's up guys so it's sunday i have been waiting for the last two days for the weekend to be almost over so that the thin x event for cardial would go away and i could pull for 2x varium has been doing this for a while that they they keep um doing a thin x event every time there's a 2x at the same time and I don't know if there has ever been like a good, when they do this weekend thing, I don't know if there's ever been like a good thin axe that I've been super hyped about. It's not like they have put in like Rotos or something like that in it. And I think we had Cardial now. And as you can see, very sadly, I have two Cardials. I know Cardial is kind of good for Fire Knight, but I'm not even using Cardial in my Fire Knight team, to be honest. I'm, I'm using... Uh, Bart Drake and um, Mikake, so he's not even needed there, I mean, it is what it is, but yeah. I was kind of uh, looking at the number of voids that we have right now, and I think there was like 60 something voids that um, exist that you can pull from, wait, not here, <laughs> there's like 60 something, I forgot the exact number, maybe like 66 or 62 or something like that, that you can pull because there's a couple champions that you can't pull i guess and i think there was was it uh eight void champions that are good but out of those eight there's a couple that uh i wouldn't want that much or i think eight of them are like super good but something like george it is not my my main uh wish i would of course rather have something like taras maritska Sifi or one of the lockout champions. That's pretty much what I want to get, but you know, there's a couple other good ones too. But let, let's see how we how we do today. I would say good luck to you guys, but probably most of you already pulled voids if you uh even if you waited on a Sunday, maybe you already pulled it today, but you know, there's still almost a day left, so good luck to everybody. Everybody that did it didn't build their void shards yet and okay by the way just stalling a little bit <laughs> one point is that um even if i get some of those like okay voids like charge that are not my wouldn't be the best thing to my account i think you know people are gonna use a lot of champions that might not be the top top tier meta in the classic arena or live arena especially in classic arena it pretty much seems to be like it's always like let's say four to eight champions in the meta and it really doesn't go more than that everybody's pretty much using the same team with few variations to it but in sieges which my plan is super into and you know we want to compete in it in sieges if you can get some random niche stuff with uh, specific weird champions you will definitely use teams that you um you wouldn't would, you wouldn't use in the classic arena meta just like um i made a video about how our clan did in the last cheese that there was one guy that was cheesing the attack only room and he was uh he had kind of weird setup i forgot what's his name alika i think alika right where is it how can i not see it is it barbarian or orc Am I mistaken? Okay, it made... What? Okay, surely it's Barbarian. You know you know what I mean. Ali got the... Ali got the lockout... Oh, there it is, I'm blind. Yeah, Ali got the lockout champion. One guy got like 13 wins in defense. <laughs> in in attack on room with Alika. I think for stuff like that, maybe maybe having charge it in attack only room with 4p stone skin and st stuff like that, that would be very hard for many people to deal with in sieges so even those champions i'm kind of interested to get and i think it will open the horizons of pvp players a little bit more because it kind of um you kind of want to have bigger pool just to compete in sieges because otherwise some of your enemy enemies that you meet they might pull some weird tactics and have like a i don't know support only room and you can make a proper team against that and then they have Lazarus or something like that and totally screw you. But okay, let's see what we what we get today. Obviously, I think 
Taras, Marriage, Kasifi. Those are really the top three that I want, but I would be happy with anything. I don't think... Oh, I was gonna say... What? 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 No way. I was gonna say that we're not gonna get pity pool today. What? Did I just pull two void champions? No way. No way. Two, two void champions in row. This is not like two x sevens. Um, isn't Sulforian kind of oh, almost okay for PvP? I, I see people use this sometimes. I think I might maybe pull off something with Sulforian. Let's look at it a little bit more after this after the pulls. And then Ungesa people were kind of thinking her for PvP, but she's not like a reviver. I don't, I don't know if she's like enough to um, bring for battle. But holy moly, we got two champions. And maybe I can do something with those. Let's 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 look look the master the boss. Come on, can we get more? Maybe we could get like insanely lucky session. If we could get one could get one more legendary, that would be insane. <laughs> insane clickbait for sure. That would be a fishing story that I can I can tell in uh, <laughs> in ten years that I got three three legendary void champions in one session with free to play shards. Come on. Yeah, well, <laughs> I I can't. Even if I get only rares now, I can't really complain about about my RNC after the double bull. <laughs> Holy moly! I hope you guys have asked you luck as that as well. Well, I'm sure somebody had better luck, but you know. Okay, we got a lot of epics too. I don't know if I really need to empower any... Oh my god, did we really get one more? Uh, I wish it was like a Sifi. Um, what the? What is this? I got three champions. Holy moly. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll look at all of them in detail after this. Let's do the last pulls. I feel like Sulfurion is probably the best one out of those three for... Uh, arena. I have never seen those other two in any battles, but yeah. <laughs> Imagine the, if that was like Taras Marichka and Sifi. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> well, maybe next time. You you never know. But yeah, that, that's definitely the most... Like, normally I pull like three voids in a year. <laughs> not not on one session. Like, wh what is that? The, Three, three voids per year is more than average that I pull. Like, if we calculate the entire time that I played Raid, but obviously at the start you you got a lot of more voids and they later added it from any other content, but on average I have pulled more l less than three, three voids per year, so that's kind of crazy. Uh, okay, let's start with I don't know how you guys pronounce it. I'm sure somebody is gonna <laughs> not be happy about my pronunciation. I feel like I I didn't make a video about her, but I talked about her in some video. I was I think on live or in a video I was looking at her skin. That I like her um, her look. She's super um, nice looking. I don't mean in like you know the overly <laughs> overly sexual way, even though you know it's in bra, but. Um, it's like a very fantasy look instead of just full demon spawn boobies or something like that. I kind of like these kind of champions and they clearly put a lot of like um, effort into the detail with all of the jewelry and tattoos that she has. I mean she's clearly like a druid. I mean that that's obvious. Okay let's take a look at the kit. A1 attacks all enemies 50% chance of decrease attack for two turns. Ally with highest crit damage also joins to attack the enemy with lowest HP. The ally joining the attack will use their default skill. Kind of good skill, but like I said already when I pulled, if she also had a revive on her kit, then it would be super interesting. But I don't know if there's like, you know, how can we justify to use, like, you know, the poison cloud is what everybody was talking about. Play has a poison cloud buff and 30% increased speed buff and two 15% continuous heals on a target ally for, for due turns and heals the target's turn meter, not everybody's turn meter, by 50%. That's a very powerful skill 
but it's on one champion in the team and you know you need to go first to make most out of it dude if she had revive she would she would be very weird support like would actually be super interesting i mean i'll have to gear her and try to make something out of her though i mean obviously poison cloud is kind of op maybe you can have her like be faster than a nuker who is also in stone skin and she's in stone skin and then she provides poison cloud maybe something like that i don't know on a3 attacks all enemies hooks to 100 chance of placing decreased defense and weaken for two turns will ignore block debuffs boss so yeah that's again kind of interesting for arena sometimes but she's not very tanky and she doesn't have a passive that provides uh, revive or survivability. Increases this champion's accuracy by 10% for each buff on each enemy. Whenever an enemy receives a buff, their turn meter is decreased by 10%. Yeah, I, I feel like if this was a primal champion and this was one of her forms and then the other form had revive or something like that, she could be like super good champion actually. I'm not sure, sure about with uh, with this kit though. Her skills are very interesting, but we'll see if there's uh, there's enough to justify her use. Maybe I could pull her against like some you know Arima teams when they are so tanky. I mean, obviously she can get polymorph, but um, they are so tanky, and I obviously can't kill them with Rotos because Arima's passive guts my Rotos and Wukong. But maybe with this decreased defense, I could basically kill those Harima teams with any nuker. Maybe I'll need to try that, <laughs> that setup. But so far I haven't seen her in a single battle. Sulfurion I have seen a couple times. Doesn't he actually... Yeah, he has a revive actually. Okay, that's interesting. Attacks one enemy, fills this champion's turn meter by 15%. Also feels the turn meter of all allies except this champion by 10% when attacking a target under HP burn debuff. And I think he has other manipulations, so that's kind of good. Good day one. Both her both him and the uh, Unkensa, both of them have really good A1s. I mean not Maritzka A1 or Sifi A1, but still very good. Places HP burn debuff on all enemies for three turns. And instantly activates any HP burn debuff on all enemies. Then places a shield buff on all allies for two turns, equal to the damage inflicted by the HP activation, HP burn activation. The value of shield cannot be more than 25k. Then there's a revive that um, grants an extra turn and revives them with 50% HP and 40% turn meter. I wish it was 60%. 60% would be so much better than 50 for something like Rotos, but it's kind of interesting that he gets an extra turn after that. He's not super tanky though, both, both him and Unkens are not very tanky. Builds the turn meter of all allies by 5% for each HP burn debuff placed. Whenever HP burn debuff is activated, heals all allies by 5% of their max HP. Whenever HP burn debuff is activated on Spider, heals all allies by 1% of their max HP. Whenever HP burn debuff is removed from enemy, places 50% decreased de resistance on them for one turn. Whenever an ally is killed by, by an enemy under HP debuff, HP burn debuff fills this champion's turn meter by 20%, increases this champion's turn meter speed by 7 for each active HP burn debuff. Okay, that's quite a mouthful the barons are doing a lot of in his kit but he it's not like geese mark you know if he plays the burn at the start of the fight then it would be super interesting but i actually have seen him a couple times in arena i guess he's basically like a reviver with some turn meter manipulation and a little bit heals and shields but you know it's it pales in comparison to maritska heals and shields by by big time okay then let's see what what's the last one i think it's dark else 
dude, I still can't believe that I actually pulled three champions. Like, what the fuck? Um, a one attacks all enemies has 30% chance of placing 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. Also has 30% chance of placing fear debuff for one turn on enemies with less than 20% turn meter. Attacks all enemies has 80% or 100% with books chance of placing stun for one turn. After attacking has 80% chance of or full 100% chance of decreasing turn meter by 30% for each enemy without a st without a stun debuff. Okay, interesting. Removes all debuffs from allies, then fills the turn meter of each ally by 15%. Fills the turn meter of each ally by a further 10% of every every CC debuff removed. Fills the turn meter of each ally by a further 5% for any other debuff removed. Okay, I was like, why is it worded twice? But okay, so it's 10% for CC and 5% for other debuffs. Um, I don't know where you would use this. It doesn't seem like a PvP champion. I don't know if she's meant to be like for Hydra. Immune to sleep debuffs. Feels this champion, champion's turn meter by 20% whenever an enemy tries to place any CC on her. Um, and speed buff for all battles. I feel like out of these three, she's probably the least um useful for pvp i don't think anyone like ugh. dude we got three champions there was pretty good chance that one of them could have been a top tier i don't think any of these are top tier but i i'll have to play with them i think at least um sulfurion and unkensa i will have to try them in pvp i i think i have plenty of books to spare so ugh. i'll um I'll try to do something with this. Like I said, maybe I'll put her in stone skin and she can she can um I can have like one one turn stone skin on my nuker and then one extra turn with uh poison cloud, maybe something like that. If you have any better ideas then <laughs> hit me up in the comments, but I have never seen anybody use her. I mean she's kind of good new champion to be fair, but I have never seen anybody use her. I don't think I actually... I forgot what is this champion's name. I don't think I have ever seen anybody use Tramaria either. Sulfurion I've seen a couple times. But yeah, I, I have to sleep on it. I have to think about it and maybe... Maybe ask in my clan what they think about it. I don't think anybody is really using them, but... Maybe people will have some ideas. If you have some ideas, then let me know in the comments. But yeah, I think that's for the shard pool session. It was a weird one. I hope you have good luck as well and get three void champions from, <laughs> from 60 shards or whatever you have. But that's it. Have a nice day and see ya.